why this one is wrong and this one is right, let me explain this thing. From this one, from this relation, I can write that H plus M means this M will go that way and okay one more mu naught B this is not plus but this is minus so I can write from here that B is equal this M will come here so it will become H plus M and mu naught will be multiplied so mu naught H plus M and now I can write that if I write m equal to chi m h, then this will be b equals mu naught and h here plus chi m h. And h will be taken as common b equals mu naught 1 plus chi m and h and this will be equal to b equals mu h now this one seems in accordance to our electrical situation like this epsilon naught so there is mu naught 1 plus chi e here is chi m and now here is e and there is h so there is a little you can say change from this one over here and but b is mu times h and i can write from here that mu is actually equal mu is actually equal to the ratio of b to h the magnetic permeability of a material is mu equal b over h. Look here. This is no, not the dielectric constant. This is the magnetic permeability. But look here. Epsilon was actually d over e. Epsilon was d over e. So in analogy to epsilon, you should have h over b right but over there it is b over h but you will have to think of that inverse relation of epsilon and this if i mark this one over mu then it will be equivalent to this one then it will be equal to h by b so you will have to take uh, thing, the thing in mind this was the reason that this thing wasn't right to write it like that. So this is the uh, thing we read it and we are almost done with this one and then after this one we are having the Faraday's law chapter 7 but we did it earlier so no problem with it. It was completely a different thing. It has nothing to do with this derivation. So let me let me uh, derive some similarities. Let me derive some similarities. We were having E which was the electric field then over here we got another field which was magnetic field. Then this was having D with it, the electric displacement, it was having H with it. So I can say that E is the electric field, D is the magnetic field. E and B are the fields in free space. E and B are the fields in free space. While D and H are the fields in a material. Clear? E and B are in free space. While D 
in H are the fields inside a material. There is polarization and here is magnetization. These are also fields, but these are bound fields. This D is due to free charges and this H is due to free currents. But these two are actually the contribution from the bound charges and bound currents. Now you will say how the bound can be called a current. So you see it is bound but as it rotates means it takes torque then it contributes to the current. Clear? Something like this and it goes this way. This alignment or this dipole moment is actually contributing to the current. Here we got the degree of polarization, chi E, the electric susceptibility. Susceptible in English say vulnerable. How quickly a material can be polarized. Susceptibility will tell this thing. And how quickly a material can be magnetized. Magnetic susceptibility will tell this thing. Over here we are having the permittivity of free space and here the permeability of free space. <coughs> so free space are you can say different and then this one for material goes to epsilon means the dielectric constant this one goes to mu and these are the relative permittivities of the material. So the Mbn's law V root is then cross B equals mu naught J. Everything was perfect and Ampere's law was doing well. But when the problem of solving the current issue in a capacitor came in, Ampere's law failed. And in differential form, I can write this thing that closed loop integral of B dot DL equals mu naught I n closed. And it is pretty much understood in integral form. Okay. Let's see. As I told you earlier, capacitor is playing a key role in understanding and it develops lots of uh, electrodynamics. Here, I will uh, plot a capacitor and plus plate is this one and minus plate is this one. So it's a capacitor and we are having positive charges there and negative charges there and we are applying the impairs law on this one. So, during the process of charging this capacitor, some current will flow in this one and it will cause from the source, whether the source is AC or DC, irrespective of anything, but what the source is doing, the source is actually charging up the plates, current is flowing there. So during the process of charging up, if I find the magnetic field around this loop, then I can write that B dot DL is equal to mu naught J. Uh, sorry, this will be mu naught 
I am closed. So this will be mu naught, I am closed. So B dot DL equals mu naught I am closed, and here I am closed is actually equal to I. So I will get from here the magnetic field. Means B dot DL. So if I go, if B is along DL, current is going this way, so magnetic field I am going along the wire. So magnetic field will be going like this. And it will give me that B into 2 pi R, if R is the radius of this loop, is equal to mu naught I, and I will have the magnetic field just from a wire is equal to mu naught I by 2 pi R. This will be the magnetic field, and in vectorial form, this will be an R unit vector direction. It will be going around this one. Now, uh, basically, uh, not an R unit vector, but it will be a phi unit vector. It will go along the circle, this magnetic field, in vectorial form. But, what uh, it with an always we will have the closed loop like a flat surface this one this is a closed loop like a flat surface what if we have the loop like this and it will be just like a bag this one just like a bag a shopping bag uh, like a cape that you put on your head. So it's an open surface. This surface was a closed surface. And this surface is an open surface. And now I apply the Ampere's law on this one. Then B dot DL will be equal B dot dl closed loop integral will be equal to mu naught i am closed but look here how much current this shape is enclosing this is equal to zero because here the wire is disconnected capacitor are two disconnected plates and the I enclosed here is zero. So this side, the magnetic field comes out here is zero. But if I come here, this point, and again I consider a closed loop here, I am having the magnetic field. So who is conducting inside this broken circuit? Clear? Ampezla fails here. Ampezla cannot account for this current flow because it is enclosing, this surface is enclosing no current. This side is there but this side comes out to be zero. So B comes out to be zero here. And we will have to study something uh, like this, that we have written sigma, the electric field here is sigma over epsilon naught. Earlier we have written this thing, the electric field is equal to sigma over epsilon naught and D was equal to sigma, uh, sorry, D was equal to epsilon E. This was the expression we developed there, and this was the uh, electric 
displacement d and now let me write this thing is this is equal to epsilon naught e plus p let me find a derivative of this with respect to time why i am finding its derivative with respect to time i am telling you in a while d d over dt is epsilon naught d e over dt plus dp over d but now you think here is no material we q and we q is having zero polarization so this term is actually going to zero and we are left with this is what then d over dt if you take the derivative of this thing then it is what sigma this one is sigma you take you put the value of even sigma like here you put sigma over epsilon naught this e you can write is the charge per unit area in epsilon naught clear now if you derivate this thing de by dt you will derivate this side as well now here de over dt is equal to 1 over epsilon naught a and d q over dt and 1 over epsilon naught a and this is actually correct it means that 1 over epsilon naught a if you multiply on this side implies i equals epsilon naught a a is the area of the plates epsilon naught is the material between the plates which is vacuum now and dq uh, sorry de by dt this is some you can say constant multiplied with this so de by dt from including this epsilon naught with it if you are giving unit area so it will drop a will drop but epsilon naught times de by dt is some current